If you're a heating nursing technician or even a salesperson and you are distributed leads, what do you do when they're unfair? And why does it matter? This is a super important question. I'm Scott Sullivan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Holly Eva Oahu on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you for HVAC technician sales secrets. This topic comes up a lot when people are given leads and it goes something like this. Hey, Scott, you know, uh, my business that I work for gives me the leads and they distribute them unevenly. <clears throat> There's a dude or a chick or a couple of dudes and a couple of chicks out there that they're getting the cream of the crop. They're they're going through the lead. So I, I want to dispel a couple of things for you and then give you some clues of how to work with this. So one, this is true. This happens. I've been around a lot of big companies and this happens. The companies are going to swear. No, it doesn't. But it does. I worked with a manager one time and this manager at four, four o'clock in the morning would go through the leads and distribute them to himself first, and then whoever was next in his buddy line, and then whoever wasn't in his portfolio of friends uh, would get distributed leads a little bit differently. And, you know, there becomes a point where it's like, why am I trying to close these deals when they're giving me all the impossible ones? And here's what I'm going to ask you to do, and that's going to be to flip your mindset. And I've lived through this a few times in my life where manager supervisor plays game with leads and gives them to other people. And so what happens is when you get good at dealing with tough leads, you start having the ability to sell a lot more. And so what ends up happening is there is deal fatigue. There is rejection fatigue. There is dealing with a lot of difficult people fatigue. But your goal and your responsibility is to do everything possible to say, I'm not going to let this get to me. I'm going to love the law of abundance. I'm going to do everything I can to close these deals. And, you know, I think back a couple of times where a manager with all of his cohort of buddies were getting all the deals and uh, they had a run of bad deals in their mind, which I could have closed. And I was closing a bunch of these deals and they came to me and they're like, well, are you in the good graces of this manager now? I'm like, no, I just had to learn how to close deals. All right. And this right here is why you should join me in email publication. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel, which means private coaching, private training, discounted coaching or discounted training. There's your URL right there. Go to it. Drop in your name, your email address and your phone number. <clears throat> here, so here's the thing. You have to be aware of, let's say you work for XYZ company and they, they are absolutely 100% playing games with leads. But once again, they, they companies do this. You have some decisions to make. You know, uh, do you really want to live with it? Do you really want to put up with the games? Do you really want to have to have somebody breathing down your neck saying you're not closing and look at all of these other people? <laughs> and you're like, hey, the, the decks are stacked, right? And so where <clears throat> where salespeople really struggle with this is where they start having the feeling of indifference. Well, what do I care? I'm just going to give up. That feeling of giving up is uh, the crux of where a lot of your struggles happen. This is where a lot of problems happen for you. And let's just say that you go to a new company. You have the give up mentality sometimes. So let's say that you do work for a scumbag company that distributes leads unfairly. Um, and you're doing everything possible to close deals, but you're like, hey, look, I can't make my, my income that I would if I went somewhere else. You have to let that feeling and that emotion go that you had people messing with you, that you got robbed and move on with your life, right? Live the law of abundance that says there's more deals out there for me. And then watch what happens because plenty of times I've seen top salespeople, top salespeople at one company close everything and then they move to another company and can't close anything. They can't. It's because they're not being fed, right? So sometimes we compare ourselves against the impossible. And when you do that, it's really tough for you to win. Live the law of abundance. Decide if you're going to stick around. And if you are, work those leads, do everything you can to close them. And if you decide to leave, leave the bitterness at the company you just left. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button, click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.